the uh, some aspects of Prophet Dawood alayhi salam and there is something in common between Prophet Dawood and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and there is a lot in common amongst the messengers but there is something really interesting here and important about Prophet Dawood Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَشَدَدْنَا مُلْكَهُ وَآتَيْنَاهُ الْحِكْمَةَ وَفَصْلَ الْخِطَابِ And we strengthened his uh, kingship, his rule, and we granted him al-hikmah, uh, wisdom, وَفَصْلَ الْخِطَابِ And the good and deep understanding, al-fiqh, وَفَصْلَ الْخِطَابِ The interpreters said this is al-fiqh, the deep and good understanding. In fact, this takes us to when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking about Muhammad uh, and saying he's addressing the wives of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and narrate and remember what's uh, recited in your homes of the signs of Allah and Al-Hikmah. Again, this is the same word is used here, Al-Hikmah, the wisdom. We, so the, 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 the verses is the Quran. Ayatullah is the Quran. And Al-Hikmah is the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So they are common in being granted Al-Hikmah. They were given Al-Hikmah. And it was known that Prophet Muhammad also Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was given al-hikmah and the ability of giving a lot of meanings in few words. No? And this is the same for Prophet Dawood Alayhi Salam. And that's what's referred to as the Fasl al-Khitab. The good understanding and the uh, wise words when he speaks. He says a lot in few words. In fact, there is something very uh, pleasing about Dawood alayhi salam. See, let's first say Dawood. Who is Dawood? He's a prophet of Allah. He's one of the great prophets. Not like what the Jews uh, uh, say about him. He, they only consider him as a king. But Dawood is a king, is a just and fair king and a messenger. He's one of the great messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He and his son is Sulaiman, right? And they are also very special. And let's give you some aspects of what Allah gave them. Allah gave Dawood very beautiful voice. Not to sing uh, only. He was really singing the praising of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, he was very famous. Uh, in making a lot of dhikr, a lot of remembrance of Allah and dua in a very beautiful way, in a very beautiful voice. And Allah gave him another thing to make him special, not only the good voice and the wisdom, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we made the mountains rehearse his praising. His songs, the mountains and the birds will rehearse him. So when he sits in any place praising Allah, singing, singing the praising of Allah, you will hear the mountains rehearsing him, repeating his huh, songs of praising, his dua. Not only that, the stones and the birds the birds will also rehearse him that's very special that's for only for him huh that's only for Dawood alayhi salam muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam witnessed something similar when he said i hear the food huh praising allah in my hands but muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam hears it not the companions huh 
But Dawood alayhi salam, this is very common. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya Jibalu awwi bi ma'ahu wa tayr. O mountains, huh? rehearse the praising with him and the birds. So it's very beautiful if you happen to hear that. Huh? So inshallah you will meet him in Jannah and you will listening to him doing this praising of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, the book, the book of Dawood is called Az Zabur. Thank you. The book of Dawood is called Az Zabur. In fact, they call in the Psalms. Huh? Th this book is, uh, even they call it the Songs of David. And it, and it is true in a way, because it is all prayers of Allah. It's all praising of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is really uh, an addendum to the Torah. Huh? It's part or it's addition to the Torah, the book of Musa alayhi salam. It's full of prayers and praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Dawood alayhi salam was given this ability. So he made the best of prayers. Let's review some of the prayers of Dawood alayhi salam. One of the things narrated from our heritage, this is not from the Israelites, this is from our Islamic heritage. Huh? Dawood says, Allahumma inni as'aluka hubbak, huh? wa hubba man yuhibbuk, wa hubba kulla amalin yuqarribuni ila hubbik. Huh? Oh Allah, I ask you to grant me your love, to love you, more than myself and my family, and the cold water. I ask you to grant me this love and to love anything that will bring me closer to you. This is one of the dua of, of huh? David, peace be upon him. He's not using very huh, difficult words. He's not making it up. He's not showing off. Very simple. Huh? In fact, this is a message to us. Even the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the same. Allah mani as'aluka hubbak wa hubba man yuhibbuk wa hubba amalin salihin yuqarribuni ila hubbik. Wa Allah, I ask you to grant me your love and loving anything that will get me closer to you and to your love. And to love any good deed that will bring me close to you. Huh? Very simple. So this is message says when you ask Allah, when you pray the dua or ask Allah, you don't have huh, to use any difficult words or to make up things. Speak your own language. Speak your own basics. Your own, you don't have to. You know what? Even once, once one of the companions huh, was telling one of the leaders, one of the imams, he said, Wallahi, I don't understand the mumbling you and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say huh? during the sujood or during the huh? standing. I, I cannot remember it. So he was laughing. He said, so what do you say? He said, I, oh Allah, I ask you Jannah and I seek refuge from hellfire. He said, this is what we are saying, we and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Nothing more than that. So it's enough. Oh Allah, I ask you Jannah and protect me from hellfire. Huh? So use your own words, your own language. You don't have to uh, the, uh, just remember all these long ones. You don't have to. Ask Allah your way. In fact, once Prophet Dawood, peace be upon him, Huh? announced call, call everyone for huh? congregation for gathering you know it's the messenger the prophet asking everyone to congregate so everyone is coming thinking Dawood will give them a huh? long speech and long sermon huh? so when everyone uh, gathered together and there are too many there are a lot so people have to pass huh? there is no microphones so someone has to repeat, so if the people in the back to hear what is happening. So Dawood alayhi salam, when everyone gathered and he stood in his pulpit or chair, 
What did he say? He raised his hand and he said, Oh Allah, Allahumma ghfir lana. Oh Allah, forgive us. That's all. And by that time, the people in the back, they said, what did he say? They said, he said, Allahumma ghfir lana. Oh Allah, forgive us. Is that all? They belittled that. They thought this is too little. Huh? They expected much more. But Allah revealed to Dawood, Oh Dawood, if I forgive anyone, then I'm going to fix his affairs in this world and in the hereafter. إِنَّ مَنْ غَفَرْتُ لَهُ سَأُصْلِحُ شَأْنَهُ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ Those I'm forgiving will be the lucky ones in this world and in the hereafter. I'm going to fix his affairs or their affairs in this world and the hereafter. So all that gathering was with one sentence. Allahumma ghfir lana. Allahumma ghfir lana. That's all. And that was great. And that was enough to collect everyone. Another one. And one great one of Dawood alayhi salam. When he said, oh young people, oh young men, shall I, why don't you come and I'll teach you Huh? The taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَعَلِّمُكُمْ So he's calling the young ones to teach them at taqwa, righteousness, piety. Huh? So what did he tell them? Look at these words, how difficult they are. He said, observe and protect your eyes and your tongue. That was his lesson. That was his lecture. Huh? Beware of what you see and what you say. Huh? Beware of the acts of your eyes and your tongue. Isn't that enough? It's so simple and understandable. This is what Dawood did. This is what Muhammad said. To conclude, let's give you an example of what Muhammad said. Once he, after Salatul Fajr, his wife, may Allah be pleased with her, she was sitting making dua. So the Prophet ﷺ went for something and came back after a while, after some time. She was still sitting and making huh, tasbih and dua. So he said, you still sitting and making tasbih and dua, you are still in salah, which is great. But then the Prophet sallallahu said, let me teach you jawami' dua Alaykum bi jawami' dua huh? Make use of the huh? collective dua. The dua that is short, but it's so embracing. So what did he say? He said the following, Allahumma inni as'aluka, huh? الجنة وما قرب إليها. Oh Allah, I ask you Jannah, paradise, and what makes us close to it. وأعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها. And now we seek refuge from the hellfire, and what makes us close to it. اللهم إني أسألك. Continue. أسألك أسألك من الخير كله. I ask you of the good, all types of good. عاجله وآجله. The close ones, the soon ones, and the later ones. وَأَعُوذُ بِكَ مِنَ الشَّرِّ كُلِّهِ And I seek refuge with you from the evils, the soon ones, and the later ones. مَا عَلِمْنَا مِنْهُ وَمَا لَا نَعْلَمْ What we know about and what we don't know about. Very simple, very easy. Use your own words to say it. Ask Allah for that. And to conclude, he said in that same hadith, اللهم إني أسألك من كل خير سألك منه عبدك ورسولك محمد. I ask you of every good thing that Muhammad, your messenger, asked you for, and I seek refuge from every evil that your messenger Muhammad seeked refuge with you from. This is the collective du'a. Is it 
It's too simple. So use your own words. Ask Allah for the same. So it's all around. We ask you Al-Jannah and we seek refuge from uh, An-Nar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the good understanding and the good fellowship of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Dawood and all the great messengers. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this land safe and peaceful and Syria and Iraq and Yemen and Palestine and all the Muslim lands to shower them with mercy and protection. Allahumma ameen ya rabbal alameen. Wa salli lahumma wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een.